friends uh, welcome back to a new video uh, in this video I want to explain a part of Kazakh culture that is hospitality uh, whenever, wherever I go I get at least 50% of the time I can find any stranger especially a Kazakh person inviting me to their home as a guest uh, they would like they, they say they want to share their culture they want to uh, give Bishparmak. Uh, so being a foreigner and living in Kazakhstan you can expect a lot of uh, friends, Kazakh friends and also strangers asking you or inviting you to their houses for uh, dinner and share some time with their family. So in this video I want to explain what to do if you are invited as a guest in Kazakhstan. Accommodating guests is an important part of Kazakh culture and it contains a specific ceremony and the rule for host as well as for the guest that should follow. Uh, first thing first, the guest should take off his or her shoes on entering a new house, but the host will help you put off your outer clothing or your jacket. Host will warmly welcome you and all your family when men shake hand, give a hug and say Aslam Walaikum. In Arabic it means uh, peace be with you. The person to whom it was said to respond with Alaikum Asalaam. When it comes to women in exchange in exchanging greetings they kiss cheeks to each other as Italians or French people. Or you can just say in a formal way Salam Atasba, it's a Kazakh language in which it means um, hello. Or you can be an informal way by saying Salim. Depending on the time of the day, you can say Kairle Kun, it means good day, or Kairle Kesh, good evening. It would be better if you take something as a present. Uh, for me, it was a mistake that I made. When someone invites me for a dinner, I just show up with my best clothing. But my later, my friends told me that I should never go to a house as a guest with empty hand. It could be some fruits, box of chocolate and tea. Uh, and you shouldn't forget about the kids. The host will be very glad if you take something for their lovely child or children. Generally, if the baby is very young, a nice dress for the baby brightens the face of the host. Generally speaking, the present depends on the occasion when you're invited. If the occasion is connected with children, uh, such as a birthday or a 40th, 40th day ceremony, you're advised to bring clothes or other necessary things or uh, nowadays people just give money uh, the 40th day celebration I have explained this before when a baby is born the baby is not shown to anyone outside the family because Kazakh people think uh, that those are the days that are very dangerous for baby's health so they keep the baby at home and on the 40th day they bath the baby uh, clean it, the hair remove the hair and uh, cut nails and have a small celebration after coming to the house, you and other guests are invited to one room where everyone may welcome each other, acquaint with people you don't know and just have small conversation to break the ice and to let a good vibe fly around. You can also ask about how they are doing, how are their life, family, job etc. Everyone loves when their house is clean and Kazakhs are no exception. Always be prepared to have small talk. People can ask very random questions uh, which may be uncomfortable for you. Be ready for questions such as how old are you, are you married, if you are not married, why are you not married, what is your salary, where do you work, uh, what do you think about Kazakhstan. These are general questions that you always get and if you are from a country like India, like me or any other exotic countries, be ready for some weird questions. Sometimes I get questions like, do you eat elephant in India? Um, or do you pray to cow? Uh, is cow holy? So be prepared for all those questions. Um, you won't be waiting long to be invited to the dining table. In Kazakh, it's called Dastar Khan. First of all, the host invites the old people, uh, whereas the most respectable people are invited after that. And then all the guests sit down. The host stands up, look around to make sure the people feel comfortable and helps everyone if it's necessary. Usually men and women sit around in one table but in some occasions such as Kurba Naid, they sit separately. Uh, there are generally two types of sitting arrangements in Kazakhstan. There could be a European style sitting when you, are, you have a fully served table and people sit on the chair around it. 
the other is the traditional way of sitting in central asian countries where you sit on a korpe it's like a handmade patchwork or a carpet laid on the floor so it depends where you're going if you are visiting a family in an apartment in a modern um, area usually there's like a big table you sit around the food is all prepared on the table and you just have a conversation and enjoy the food but if you are visiting elderly people who lives outside the city or a small village there's like a big carpet on the floor where you sit and um, enjoy the food the only problem at least for me is when you sit on the floor for more than 30 minutes your spine starts paining um, you shouldn't be surprised with the amount of food on the table because Kazakh try to decorate the table with good and quality products and they love to serve good products to their guests. First of all, you'll have different kinds of salads, fish, vegetable mix, cheese, bishpermak, etc. Kids are also invited to have dinner with adults but usually they eat fast and then leave the table and play with other kids in the another, another room. Usually the themes of for the conversations are different beginning with discussion about health personal information and ending with a worldwide news it depends upon who you are sitting with if you are sitting with the young generation usually people talk about um, traveling uh, international experience getting job abroad but if you are traveling if, if you are sitting with the old um, generation usually the topics go to politics and all those things after having dif uh, different delicious food the oldest man says blessing words as then you will have a break and women will have a chance to clean the table and serve all necessary items for the tea tea is very important uh, coming from india we usually don't have tea for breakfast lunch we just have tea at five o'clock but if you are invited as a guest doesn't matter what time it is be prepared to have a lot of tea and it's not served just one time as soon as your cup is empty the your host will keep on refilling the cup with tea um the then they will be then they will share uh, cakes cupcakes candies fruits raisins nuts and others you will be offered to have a black or white tea with milk in the small break men may engage in card games in small groups and recount their earlier experience and laugh loudly The size of the teacup and the tea volume may differ in the regions of Kazakhstan. For example, in the South Kazakhstan, Kizilorda, Atrao, and Aktobe parts, people pour tea in small cups, whereas in northern part of Kazakhstan, the size is generally a little bigger. The difference is mainly because of the weather. Nomads are used to consume hot drinks in big sizes in the north uh, because of the cold and windy weather conditions whereas in the south and west kazakhstan the weather is much warmer and people are used to drink less amount of tea additionally you can have a green tea as a guest in western regions uh, one more thing you will never you will never leave the house without some presents from the host they always pack some uh, food uh, leftover food cake a chocolates for uh, for you to take home and they want to make sure that you still feel comfortable when you reach back home it is uh, traditionally accepted that every guest have a bag of fruits meat nuts or bishpermak uh, or food served on the table and a piece of fabric hopefully uh, this uh, video was helpful for you and prepared uh, for visiting your kasek friend uh, there's nothing to worry as i said hospitality is the main uh, cultural importance in kazakhstan i would recommend to invite your accept your friend's invitation um, and enjoy the visit be prepared to eat a lot of meat uh, the kazakh people likes to feed their guests they feed you they, even if your stomach is full they go to the next course the next course and a lot of tea anyway it will be a very interesting um, experience uh, please make sure to uh, click like uh, if you like this type of videos and subscribe to see more uh, contents from Kazakhstan. See you soon. Goodbye.